Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to Amma Safety webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to manage groups and group membership in Microsoft Entra ID. Microsoft Entra groups are used to manage users that all need the same access and permissions to resources such as apps and services. Instead of adding special permissions to individual users, we create a group that applies the special permissions to every member of that group in the past few videos we have covered the different types of groups and how to create them you can find the links to that videos in the description section access and log into the microsoft entra admin center you can access microsoft entra admin center using the url entra.microsoft.com For this video, we have used the Global Administrator account to log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Expand Groups and click on All Groups. We can see our organization's existing groups on this page. To create a new group, click on New Group. Microsoft Entra allows you to define two different types of groups. We have already covered this in a previous video, so I'm not going to explain it again. choose security as a group type and the name of the group for example test group 2 we can optionally add owners or members when creating the security group you can add members and owners after creating your group select the link under owners to populate a list of every user in our directory choose user or users from the list and then select the select button at the bottom of the window select the link under members to populate a list of every user in our directory go to users tab to select the user account again choose user or users from the list and then select the select button at the bottom of the window now click on create to create a new security group with defined settings the group is created successfully to confirm it click on refresh we can confirm that the group has been created successfully members and owners can be added from existing groups the process is same for members and owners select the group you need to manage for example click on test group 2 on overview page we can see we have total one member in this group and one group owner under manage click on members we can confirm joe root is member of this security group to add more members click on add members go to users tab begin searching for the user or users to add to our group from the add members page click on select members successfully added click on refresh and confirm it we can confirm that virat kohli is successfully added as a member to this group members can be removed from the existing group check the box next to a name from the list and select the remove button Are you sure you want to remove the selected member? Click on yes. You can confirm member successfully removed. Now Joe Root is no longer listed as a member to this group. By following the same steps, we can add or remove owners from the existing groups. The process is the same for members and owners. Click on owners. To add more owners to this group, click on add owners. Select the user. Click on select. group owner successfully added click on refresh and confirm it group owners can be also removed from the existing groups check the box next to a name from the list and select the remove button are you sure you want to remove the selected owner click on yes click on refresh to see the updated group owner list we can confirm that joe root is no longer listed as a owner to the security group On the properties page, we can modify the group's details such as its name and description. Select properties from the side menu. Add the existing group name and description as required. In our case, the group type is security. You can't change the type of group after it's been created. You must delete the group and create a new one. With the Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2 subscription, we can also change the group membership type. Because we are using the Microsoft Entra ID free subscription, we don't have the ability to change the group membership type. 
If you have enabled the Microsoft Entra roles can be assigned to this group option, you can't change the membership type. For us, the option to assign Microsoft Entra roles to the group is grey out because we are using the Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. For the security group type, you can also add an existing group to another group. This is also known as nested groups. Depending on the group membership types, you can add a group as a member of another group just like a user, which applies settings like access permissions and rules to nested groups. But for nested groups, Entra doesn't apply assigned membership to shared resources and applications. Under Manage, select Group Membership. Select Add Memberships. Look at the group you want your group to be a member of. In this example, I'll select our existing security group named Test Group 1. Click on Select button. We will receive a confirmation message. Click on Refresh to see the updated information. Recent changes may take some time to appear. We can verify that Test Group 1 is now displayed on the group membership page. Click on All Groups and then click on Test Group 1. Under Manage, click on Members. Verify that Test Group 2 is listed as a member of this security group. You can remove an existing security group from another security group. However, removing the group also removes an inherited access for its members. Click on All Groups and then click on Test Group 2. Under Manage, click on Group Memberships. Select the parent group from the group membership page. In our case, it is Test Group 1. Select Remove Memberships. Click OK to continue. The group membership has been removed successfully. Click on Refresh to confirm that. And we can confirm that Test Group 1 is not listed anymore. Last is how to delete an existing group. You can delete a group for any number of reasons but typically, it will be because you choose the incorrect group type option, created a duplicate group by mistake or you no longer need the group. In any case, if you want to delete your existing group, click on All Groups and then select the group which you want to delete. In this example, I am going to delete our test group too. So, let's select it. At top, click on Delete. Click OK to delete the selected group. The group is deleted successfully. Click on Refresh to confirm it. The group has been successfully deleted from Microsoft Entra ID. That's it for today's video on how to manage groups in Microsoft Entra ID. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the steps, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.